Hey there, worm nerds. Uh, welcome back. Um, we're going to be taking a look at uh, four newly started bins um, that were split from one very large, heavily populated bin uh, full of blue worms and perhaps some red wigglers and uh, European nightcrawlers. It's the Uncle Jim's uh, mix that I bought uh, from them about a little over a year ago. Uh, so they're They've uh, reproduced a lot over that year, and uh, I have... So I decided to split them up into four smaller bins. Uh, these are bus bins, as you can see. Uh, they're much smaller than uh, my other bins. Um, and uh, I decided uh, to do an experiment with one of them, uh, just, just to throw some odd things in there, uh, that might take, uh, longer to, uh, break down. Um, and those items, whoops, and those items are these. Uh, we've got, uh, some packing peanuts that I'm going to be throwing in there. Just a few, not too many. Um, some feathers, uh, that we have found around the yard. Um, some, uh, uh, citrus and onions. We're going to be working uh, with some forbidden foods there. So the verboten items. Um, some Q-tips. I have um, put a twist tie around them so that they uh, stay together. Um, and some wood shavings. Um, I do have a cellulose sponge um, that uh, I'm going to be adding at some point once it uh, outlives its usefulness in the kitchen. So, um, let's take a look at one of the four bins. Uh, this is the one that I've decided is going to be the experimental bin with all the odd items in there. Um, uh, when I split up the bin, I actually took the time to weigh all of the worms that I had pulled out of the, um, the heavier, uh, populated side of the bin. I'm still baiting, um, worms out of that bin. Uh, with some pumpkin, um, and I actually pulled, uh, probably a pound out of the first baiting, um, but the first pull out of the bin, I got 28 ounces of worms. Um, so that was really interesting. I was very, um, curious to see how many ounces or pounds of worms I got out of it. Um, and I've actually been, um, taking some of those worms and putting them outside, so there's, uh, there may have been, um, I'm guessing, three pounds of worms in there. All right, so um, let me uh, put my gloves on and go in there and see what's going on. Okay, um, so initially I'd put about seven ounces of worms in here, just under a half a pound, and then... Um, Maybe another half pound. Uh, so this bin probably has a pound of worms. Um, I've fed them again with some more pumpkin. And they are loving it. Oh, oh. So this is one of the first Q-tips that I had put in there. Um, it, um, it may have been in there for a couple months. I'm thinking two months. Um, and if you compare it with, uh, let me see, one of the newer ones, this one has only been in there maybe a month, you can see the difference between the, the two Q-tips in their decomposition. Look, it's <laughs> like, it's, it's so thin, and there's not much left of the cotton tip anymore. It's, it's really kind of interesting. Of course, I never pull up my sleeves, and I have to... There we go. Let's try this again.
they have uh, acclimated to the new bin very, uh, very well. That first night, they were already over into the new bedding. All right, yeah, they're looking uh, really good. They're um, mostly over here under the food and the older experimental items. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, throw some of those weird items in. Um, wood shavings. This is uh, from my partner's uh, woodworking. And the feathers. I would like to um, thank uh, one of the commenters for suggesting feathers. Um, I had been putting them in there in the past. Um, and that reminded me, hey, that would be a great item for an uh, experimental video. All right, so I'm gonna throw the peanuts over on one side. They're, they're already melting in my hand from the, the just a little bit of moisture on my glove. They're, they're, it's sticking to my glove. I'm going to put the Q-tips under the pumpkin. And the feathers over here. I found these um, under uh, our bird feeders after a hawk had taken out a bird. So this was the remnants of the former bird hawk lunch. All right, so they're going to hang out over there. The wood chips are going to hang out over here. I suspect these will take the longest. Okay, um, looks like that wasn't too hard. Oh, you know what? I forgot the citrus. So I've been collecting um, citrus and uh, onion peels and kitchen scraps uh, of our onion cuttings. So this is strictly citrus and onion. We're always, we've always been told that uh, citrus is, oh, that's that's bad for the worms. Um, it's too acidic. Um, but uh, if you're adding a, a buffer, um, like eggshell or um, lime of some sort, um, you, you don't need to worry about the acidity. Um, so um, I'm going to prove that by adding nothing but citrus and onions. All right, there we go. Uh, looks like we're done. On to the next bin. Um, What I am going to do is add any worms to this bin that uh, I've baited out of the uh, original castings of the larger bin. So uh, let me go get that and we'll pull some worms. So 
but I'm baiting them out of the castings with some pumpkin. Hopefully I can grab old handful of worms. Okay, looks like they've settled in. Um, not sure if I should feed them. Uh, let me see if there's any food left. Oh yes, this was the bin that I fed pumpkin slurry to uh, it's some pumpkin that was going bad very bad uh, it turned into mush actually um, so I just strained out all the liquid and um, threw it in here and they're loving it it's uh, broken down very nicely for them
Okay, I'm gonna give them a little more pumpkin. 